happy to come back on here to show you guys how to put it down in the kitchen when it comes all air i be full you can put this in they are good they're gonna make your food taste good just a little bit by putting it in your soup a little bit of everything gonna make your food taste so good man look at my skin my skin is glowing i'm gonna show you guys like my skincare routine also i want to show like this is my skin with no makeup on nothing like it's popping but let get down in the kitchen because that's what i'm good at so these are all my sizzling i put a little bit in a little bit of everything when i'm cooking especially when i'm cooking cassava leaf when I'm cooking, uh, kisali is very hard to cook. So I put in a little bit of everything, whatever I'm cooking. So number one, and these are something that everybody already have. So um, if you don't have it, go and grab it. And anytime you're cooking, put in a little bit, just a little bit. Each, a little bit of everything at least will make your food to get that flavor. Like you want one, I just started using it. I have not really seen any different, but it's good. I'll say it's good. And you make sure you put in some onion powders, like whatever you cook in, put in some onion powder. And this one, I told you guys about this. This thing is a shrimp paste and make your food smell so good. Like for us, we African, we Liberian, we don't have dry meat. And this thing gonna make your food taste so good. It gonna make your food feel like it got dry meat in it. I also use this one. It is really, really good. Again, if you are a Liberian and you're not using this in your food, I don't know what you're cooking. Go get you some, go get you some of these. And I use this sometime to sizzling my meat. Like when I cook in, I put in a little bit. And this is the best. This is good. Get you some of these. It's really good. And this is also good. I love it. We already know. This is some black pepper. Get you some black pepper. And if you are a Liberian and you cooking tabagi, they got all this soda there. Use the soda, okay? It don't matter what soda you have, but make sure you use soda. And if you are not a Liberian, screenshot this. Go to the African store. Tell them, hey, I want to try cooking Liberian tabagi. Get you some of the soda and tell me thank you. Because your food going to come out the best. They have it in the African store. Go get you some. Stuff, make sure you sizzling your meat right. Sizzling your meat really good. So I use this to sizzling my meat. And this is really good too. This is a good one. Hey, you guys already know. Airbnb people, y'all already know. If you're not using this and you're a Liberian, go grab this right now. Go and grab this right now. If you not, if you are not using this and you are a Liberian, I don't know what you're doing. I don't know how you're cooking. I don't know how you're cooking. And this one, this is a powerhouse. If you're cooking fried rice, if you are cooking fried rice, make sure you put this in it just a little bit to change the flavor of your rice. This is so good, y'all. Like you can see, I'm almost done. Like this is so good. I'm always cooking fried rice at home. That's a video that I need to do, but this is really, really good. Whenever you're cooking fried rice, put this in. And if you're like me, you don't have benesins coming to you all the time. So you go to the Africans, you go to Walmart, go to Walmart and look for this. And this is what you use to make your GB taste good. 
this is Ben and C. Yeah, so guys, when I'm cooking, um, like dry rice, and then I put my pepper in the blender, I put a little bit of sud, and I use the sud because this sud is very, very hefty. That's why I use this. And I use the dash. And I also use this when I'm cooking like cassava leaf because cassava leaf is very hard to cook. So I put some of this inside just a little bit and it will make your cassava leaf. And it will make your cassava leaf taste so good. So grab you some of these. And this is something that you guys already have. Put this in your food. This one, use this guys, use this. And I sometimes, I don't like garlic, but I sometimes just put it in my soup, but I don't really like it like that. I don't use it. And use this one. And this dry shrimp, like you can use whatever dry shrimp that you have. Um, Sometimes when I'm making dry rice, I kind of put the um, dry shrimp inside. Um, when I'm cooking cassava leaf, balawa sauce, um, tabagi, I also put dry shrimp inside. So get you some of these. It don't have to be this brand, but you can get you whatever shrimp you want. But it gotta be dry and it tastes so good in dry rice and I think I show you guys this or you can use this one if you also want to make dry rice and you can put this in your soup also and you can use this you know I love to try different things um when i'm cooking so yeah you can use this one it tastes good by the way and i have some dry iron and i'm gonna show you guys how to make this bomb pepper sauce like it's so hot my mom showed me how to so i'm gonna make this for you guys um and then like i have vita here like you can see i have a lot um, shout out to my sister. She hooked me up. Hey, Cynthia. Thank you. I still have all this Vita that you got me. So this, I use these to cook a lot. Like every time I'm cooking my African food, like whatever I'm cooking, if I don't have these, I do not cook. So I use a lot of Vita. So this, um, this little one is also good that you can use this. To put it in your food, you can use both. I don't care whatever brand they have out there. These are the best. These one are the best. Make sure when you're getting any Vita, get this one. Don't get any other kind. These one are the best. And this little cute, the little ones. It's so good. Use them. Don't use any other brand. Get these one. And your food gonna be tasting good. And let me show you something. So when I went for the Christmas, when I went to go visit my mom for the Christmas, and she was cooking, so this is a secret. She was cooking and then, um, so she started spraying the pot. She sprayed the pot before cooking. So I'm like, what does it do? She's like, um, when you cook, it don't burn your pot so i'm like really so i was there she did it a couple of time like you know when you're cooking cassava leaf the pot usually burn when you're cooking uh whatever soup like for our food when you're cooking the pot usually burn but when you spread the pot with a spray spray oil this one is the avocado one i got well you can get whatever brand if you spray your pot before cooking, trust me, when you're done cooking, it will be so easy for you to clean that pot. It will be so, so easy. 
So before you cook, spray your pot and then put your soup in. And you will see after how your pot gonna be. You're not even gonna use any scrub to wash in your pot. This really work. Try it guys and you're gonna love it. And yeah, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and make sure you screenshot all these nice spicy sizzling and put it in your food. It's not that spicy though, but don't forget to get it and put it in your food and you're gonna love it. It's gonna make your food taste so good. Thank you so much for watching and please share this with family. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you, thank you, thank you.